Gunfire near a school in Brooklyn. Students forced to stay inside and parents standing outside wondering what was happening. The victim in that shooting, a mother shot with her child not far away. Tonight, the mystery of what happened taking a rather bizarre turn. Police are looking into the possibility the woman shot herself. Eyewitness News reporter Shante lands with the new details on the investigation. Crime scene tape wraps around a busy city park. We saw like the ambulance and like someone like they were helping someone on the floor. A mother shot in the head on a bench prompts a lockdown at neighboring Marine Park Junior High. On the inside, dozens of students like 12 year old Kamaya Marrero had to stay in the school auditorium. It was scary because it's like, it's like shocking that they would do that in front of my school. The seventh grader who heard the gunshot was brought to tears while expressing to her mom that she doesn't feel safe. It's scary, you know, as a mom, like, you know, you send your kids to school and, you know, you don't expect nothing like this to happen. A crowd of parents grew outside during what was supposed to be a smooth first day of the after school program. Jetta Bonds received an automated call from the school that there was a shooting and the students were safe inside. You see the tape everywhere. I'm like, what happened? And then I'm texting my son and he didn't respond. I got nervous. As parents anxiously wait, detectives comb the scene. Police say the mother was arguing with her child's father when the shooting happened. She was removed to uh, uh, Brookdale Hospital and she's in very critical condition. Students were released to relieve parents in the dark several hours after their scheduled pickup time. I was just like thinking about good stuff, not bad stuff. So and I was just waiting on her to come and get me. We ran into Kamaya, who was reunited with her mother. I'm just happy I'm going home. The father of the child of that mother's shot was taken into police custody for questioning. So far, he's considered a person of interest.